This is Project PAHOOT. PAHOOT is an acronym. Now, Princess Anne had one of those because that's the first thing everybody says when you tell them you've got a scimitar or they see a picture of a scimitar. So let's have a little bit of a wee look at it. It's actually only a simit at the moment and missing letters. But crucially, from what I'm led to believe, everything in here will make the car complete. This is actually, this surprised me, this is a panel that's been cut out of the floor and the body inside here where there's been some welding done. You see that little hole in the floor there? Well, that's that panel, so that'll just fiberglass back in. Look at the interior. Seats are mint, to be fair considering it's 50 years old. The wheel is, is, whilst it's nice, it's a bit, it's a bit knackered and crusty and I don't think I'll keep it. We've got 77,000 miles on, which isn't too bad, seems all right to me. Bodily, it's mainly just paint, a few little Areas here where the gel coat's gone. Yeah, proper quarter light windows as well. Remember them? But yeah, a bit crusty in places. There's no damage from what I can see. Even down here on the air dam, all that's pretty good. There's no brakes in that. There's a lovely Ford Essex V6 in here. Loads of room for shenanigans and activity should I want to put something bigger in, which I probably will. But looks to me like it's had new, mostly new plugs, apart from that one from the coil there, which is a bit, that's a bit knackered. But yeah, new leads, new plugs. That belt doesn't look half bad. Obviously it wants a battery. In terms of rust, it looks to me much just surface stuff really. This cowling is a bit loose here. That's a bit, but that's something I can work on. Not fussed about that. The bonnet's obviously snapped off its hinges, but again, I'll probably put error catches on that. Wheels are half decent. Need a bit of a spit and polish. Tires are old. But I'm pretty happy with it overall. It looks half decent under there. Suspension looks good. So from what, from, from what I've already seen underneath, looks pretty good. Any welding that has been done has been done properly. It's been primed up. There's no big, uh, no big holes from what I can see. And it didn't, it didn't snap in two when I put it on the trailer yesterday. But I'm looking forward to this. I've wanted one of these since I was. A very little boy. And the very little boy in me now is jumping up and down like a madman going, You got one! Yay! So, we'll see how it goes, but I think the idea being is keep it purple. Yeah, I think pur purple was one of the, probably one of the reasons why I got it. It's a good colour. I just, uh, I don't think it'll stay this purple. I think I'll go for a, a more modern one like a Jaguar purple or a an Audi purple or something, something that's a bit bit newer and a bit brighter and stands out. The first job, get it on the ramp. Uh, check all the chassis all right, make sure there aren't any other holes, weld anything that needs doing. Give it a good coating of rust proofing or blackjack or something. And then start looking at the mechanicals, get the fuel tank back in. Rebuild the brakes, because they're all in. They found, they found the brakes in the back of the brake pads are in the passenger footwell and the calipers are here. I've never seen three pot calipers before. So you've got one pot at the back, two at the front. That's a weird setup, that, but you know, whatever works, works. Obviously, they want seals, but they're not. They're not knackered, they'll clean up quite well, I think. It's just a 
a vast array of bits in here that I've got to route through, bits of interior, all the headlights, they're all marked up as what they are, but these are, I mean that, that word there, that fills me with more dread than anything, Lucas, so these are going to be dim, and they'll probably set on fire at some point, so, and they're sealed beam units as well, so I can't change the bulb in them, I don't think. So I will probably end up bidding them off. Near side outer, whatever's out in there is broken, there's lots of crustiness in that one. Yeah, I'll probably end up binning these off for modern LED equivalents, which will no doubt piss a lot of people off, but it's my car, not theirs, what are they going to do? Same with the rears as well, well everything's here for the rears, isn't it? all the surrounds. I don't like it. Made in several pieces. I've never actually, you know, never dug into these too close. I have no idea what they are. Again, I'll find out in a bit. Windscreen wipers, door seals, bumper overriders. There's a rear window there, all in one piece. Looks like possibly stainless tips on the exhaust, but. They are a bit, uh, bit pea shootery. They are. They need to be made bigger for all that, for the maximum warble. And so we'll get the fuel tank back in here. But all that just looks, to me, like a bit of crust, not actual bad rust. Just wants cleaning up. A good coat of looking at. I may well end up taking the body off do the chassis properly but we'll see get some better tyres on bring them out a little bit you know, fill that arch that's all stuff for the future Ooh, we've got proper bulbs in the back as well that's surprising got actual halogen bulbs and we'll find a nice I might even find a replacement unit that goes there for LEDs like off a caravan or something. But I'm thinking too far ahead here. Nice little chrome fuel cap. But happy days. We'll uh, we'll see how it goes, and when I get a chance to roll it out of the container and into the workshop, I'll get it on the ramp and I'll get some uh, some good footage of what it looks like underneath. Hopefully, hopefully it doesn't fall apart on me on the uh, workshop ramp and uh, put me in hospital or send me under for the rest of my life realising I've made a massive financial mistake in buying this but I think this will uh, this will end up being a good investment really not that I particularly view cars as investments I think that's a ridiculous thing to do it should be driven so I want to get it working and drive it but we'll see how that goes won't we? Ta-ra!